Good evening, and welcome to your weekday summary of the day's most popular stories on the Bangkok Post. These are the top three most popular stories of April 4, 2022. The most popular story today is XE wave likely to be mild. The Public Health Ministry played down concerns raised by the detection of the first case of the XE COVID-19 strain in the country, saying there is no need to panic. Director General of the Department of Medical Sciences said, "The rising number of COVID-19 strains only fuels the rapidity of genomic variations, as has been evidenced recently by the emergence of Delta Cron." A recombinant virus that contains genes from both Delta and Omicron variants, and in this case, XE is a recombinant virus of two sublineages of Omicron variant BA.1 and BA.2. On the other hand, the World Health Organization has issued a warning over the XE Omicron variant that many in the medical field. Fear could be the most transmissible yet. An expert with the National Center for Genetics Engineering and Biotechnology shared that, considering a rise in number of patients developing severe symptoms when infected with COVID-19 after a fourth booster shot, he recommends delaying seeking further appointments for the booster shots until a newer generation of vaccines is available. The second most popular story is Chiang Mai and Pattaya want drinking hours extended. Restaurants in Pattaya and Chiang Mai want selling hours for alcohol extended until midnight or 1 a.m. during the Songkran holiday period to shore up their flagging business and suffering under COVID restrictions. They say extending alcohol consumption hours at restaurants beyond 11 p.m. Would help bring in more income and spur tourism. Starting from the 1st of April, alcohol consumption is now allowed until 11 p.m. at restaurants in Chiang Mai provinces that meet CHA Plus and COVID-free setting standards. The restrictions were eased after the province were reclassified as blue zone promoted for tourism. Previously. Alcoholic drinks could only be served from 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. at restaurants in five districts of Chiang Mai, which were designated as blue tourism zones. The third most popular story is jet blues in Udon Thani. In September, locals living in vicinity of Royal Thai Air Force's air base in Udon Thani. Lodged a petition with the House Committee on Foreign Affairs about the noise pollution which aircraft in the area produce. The airbase is used as training ground for Thai and Singaporean fighter jet pilots, and as transport station for civilian airlines. According to specialists with the Pollution Control Department, sound levels detected during exercises measured 64.8. To 65.2 decibels, which is too loud for residential areas. The airbase is used by civilians and military aircrafts. However, locals say the huge level of noise pollution comes from Singapore's F-16 fighter jets, which take off and land frequently. Teachers in schools near the airbase have suspended classes every time a fighter jet takes off. Or lands, or flies over them. Children are told to shield their ears from the noise, which is loud enough to trigger car alarms and rattle windows and doors. According to a local MP, changes are to be made at the airbase, including relocation. And that's all from us for now. Thank you for listening to the headlines of the Bangkok Post. Be sure to keep up with all the latest news on BangkokPost.com website. This is John from Bangkok Post Online team. Have a good evening, and see you tomorrow.